Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It has been a few days since I played. I played three straight days of this game, so something like 12 hours of gameplay up to this point. And now we're returning back and we're going to head on to new destinations and nice choppy frame rates as well, as you can see. I mean, I could wait for that to clear up, but I could just manually fix it too. Um, so after having spent somewhat of six or seven hours in this open world grasslands area, We've pretty much 100%ed it. I mean, the only thing we didn't do, I think, was cast Assess on enough enemies. But outside of that, everything else we did. And so what I'd like to do now is move to the next part, which is down here. Now, how do we get there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you can go further south here. I think this is blocked. So I think we might have to go here and cross, like, a bridge or go across the marshlands on the Chocobo and maybe end up there. I'm not sure. Um... I guess we're gonna try to figure it out. Okay, let's do it. Let's head off, let's get our chocobo, and uh, let's see what we can do. So guys, let me know, number one, how the game sounds, and number two, how it looks. I hope that everything looks and sounds good for you. Personally, I can't tell, because my preview today has been screwed up. This happens sometimes, where my preview just shows choppy. I don't know why I did it for the podcast, too, so I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, but I hope that the visuals look good for you guys. Let me know, okay? <clears throat> Wrong. Wait, who's this? Bird, how you help Him again. With that flower crown of hers. Awful sweet of you. Only wish Will and Clara were around to see it, but they may <clears> have <throat> Okay. Looks good. People are saying it looks good. As long as it looks nice and smooth to you guys. My, Like I said, my preview is choppy, but it just happens sometimes with OBS. Down here. <laughs> Perfect jump. What do we get? A ruby. I don't know what those are for yet. We found emeralds and rubies. And I don't know what's next. Or I don't know what, what you do with those. Like, do you craft them? Do you sell them? I don't know. It's not apparent from the game. He hasn't really explained that. Uh, I, Eternal Napalm, I don't remember what's next in the story. I remember that you have to go across the marsh, right? And once you go across the marsh... And avoid the giant serpent. Because you probably can't fight it now. You gotta come back later to fight it. Um, then I think you go to an open world area. Don't you pass through Fort Condor for now. But you don't do anything in it yet. And then you go to like the next major area. Which might be a dungeon or it could be a town. I can't remember. Um, and then after that. I honestly don't remember what's next. Like I'm... I'm trying to remember the order of events of Final Fantasy VII, but it's hard for me to remember. I think Cosmo Canyon's coming up at some point, right? <clears throat> um, you could transmute with those gems? Oh, okay. So how do I get... Let's see. Do I head east? Maybe I have to hook it east here, because this looks like a dead end, right? So maybe I have to head east, and then once we get here, we can run through the, through the water. <clears throat> I think that's what, what we must have to do. This giant wall is annoying me. How do we... Maybe we gotta go here. Maybe we go to the dock and we run across the water from the dock. Maybe that's what we do. No, you see, it's weird because in the original game, the water you could actually walk across, but there was a giant serpent in the water that you would have to fight, and it would kill you. It was too overpowered. Now in this one, that's not the case because I think now the point is you swim across this with the chocobos. I guess you couldn't have caught come in here without the chocobos, right? It wouldn't have let you because you can't get through that water. There we go. I want to ride up on my chocobo. All right, this is where we're headed. Is that a person? Look at that. It is a person. Over there. What? It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? What? What is he doing here? That's not Sephiroth. Come on. He, you see it as Sephiroth, but it's not actually Sephiroth. Isn't it one of those cloaked dudes? High caliber rifle. What? 
I got a high caliber rifle. Who uses that? Barrett? Whoa, cool. Okay. Hot, much higher damage output, lower magic. But bonus round is his new uh, ability. A retro firearm repurposed from a Republic era weapon. Fires 20 bullets. And it looks like we get a new materia on this sucker, right? Cool. What materia do we want to put on it? Uh, provoke? We could try provoke. Yeah, maybe provoke. <clears throat> and then weapon skills. So, increase overcharge reload when staggering enemies. Increase magic by 20. Or makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. Um, I feel like since, since this weapon has much worse magic, using this makes up for it. Right? Let's just do that for now. And we do not have a summon materia, correct? They're all equipped. Okay. They're all equipped. <clears throat> These can't gain levels? Oh, summon materia cannot gain levels in this one. Didn't they in the original? That's kind of weird. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. So this is not Sephiroth, by the way. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? Look. No. I don't. What the fuck? I can't interact with them? Isn't this one of the imperfect people from the soldier program or something? I think it is. So I can't do anything with this guy? He just stands here. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Amazing. <clears throat> well, let's continue to cross the bog. Go. Let's -a go. Oh, what are we standing on? The giant serpent, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> it used to be called, I think, the Nidhogg serpent, but I guess it's called something different in this one. We have to fight this thing? You're not supposed to. In the original game, you ran from it. And you came back later to fight it. I guess you have to fight it now. Disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had no focus. I guess we're fighting it. Oh crud. I already got hit. Okay, hold on. The mid midgarzumer? Mid Garzumer. That's not what it was called in the original. Soaring Fury! Oh, I got hit out of Soaring Fury. Wow, I'm seeing giant damage. Wow, I'm about to die. Will Aerith heal me? Yes. I can't even see there's a tree in the way. Wow, it's like impossible to dodge this thing. Amazing, completely whiffed because it's too big to hit. It's so big it can move out of the way so quick. Well, I'm about to die. Hey Eric, do you wanna like maybe get some uh some stuff to heal us? Like I'm just saying. That'd be cool. Uh -oh. Get back! Scorching breath. Everyone, keep your distance. Keep 
Diva fell unconscious because she stood literally in the harm's way. She's a complete idiot. Guard up, she says, as I'm eating. I'll take care of it. Don't worry, I'll get you out. One more shot. How am I gonna get him out? You're burning up. Get him. Uh, I think we lost. I can't get him out. Look, <laughs> I can't get him out. Aerith's the worst character. She really is. This one's for you. She's about to die. Great. Keep it up. Go on. Wow, how am I supposed to block that? Look how fast he is. Go on. I can't block it, he's too fast. Jesus Christ. Look at the damage. Are you serious? Stay strong and carry on. Get him. I can't get Cloud out. Come on. Be I can't get Cloud out. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Don't catch another. Finally. I need to heal Cloud. Oh, I have no MP. So I have no MP, so now I can't heal Cloud. <clears throat> oh, I can't. This is fucking shit. I also can't lock onto his head for some reason. They won't let me lock onto his head anymore. All my potions here because I can't heal because I have no MP. Building up to something. Uh, absorbs MP. Didn't absorb any MP. Something? Poison wind? Looks like it. Oh, he was out for like what 10 seconds? Wow, he was dead again. This is stupid. 
stupid. <laughs> what a dumb fight. He even dies like instantly. He just stands there. I'm dead. Can't get, get past the, the fire. Staggered it. Thank God. Oh, I might just finish it here. I guess we beat it. Which is so weird because you don't do this in the first game. In the original game, you have to run from it. You can't beat it here. Is it good? I thought they beat it. <laughs> now it's a cutscene. And that's it. Cloud's dead. That's the end. Wow, it's the end of the game. What are we looking at? Why is Sephiroth here? What? <clears throat> and why would he be underwater with the with the snake? What is going on here? This is totally different. some weird stuff going on. Wakey, wakey. You remember who I am? Eris. How can I forget how, how obnoxious you are? Come on. It's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Oh, look at this. The imperfect. Those guys are looking for him too. Experiments. They've gotta be. Yeah, I kinda get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. Well, don't ask me how we beat it. Yeah, look. With the with the Midgard Zumur gone, you can now swim through the swamplands. Okay. Will I get a, uh... Do you think there's anything in the Swamplands worth swimming through to find? Maybe there's stuff in there now? Right? There might be. Maybe that's the whole point, is now you go back and you can find items and stuff in there? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm hoping we get a free recharge, because, uh... I don't want to use all my items right now. So hopefully we do get a free recharge here. Of some sort. Swampy situation. Complete chapter two. Okay. He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, Mithril well, mine. Mr. Sure are. <clears throat> no doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to. The say. bog of eternal stench you from labyrinths. Oh God. Living. Not us though. Yeah. Good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. 
<laughs> so that's right. Remember, he Enough takes payment for everything. Twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud. Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. It wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working mithril mine. Y'all know about mithril, right? Hmm. Not anything specific. Mithril. No. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hmm. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs, then? Hmm. We could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. I would really like to rejuvenate my HP and MP, and I'm not seeing anywhere to do that in here, which is kind of frustrating. I definitely don't want to pop items to do it. After a boss fight, you would think they would have just given you an opportunity to do that, but they haven't. Uh, let's save. Because the thing is, like, I'd also like to go back to... I would also like to go back to the other area in the bog. And get, like, probably hidden items and stuff in there. But I don't have health to do it, so I'm not going to do that yet. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully there's a rejuvenation around here somewhere. It's weird because in the original game you could have just, uh, like healed outside. Like, you know, there were items to recover in the overworld and stuff. Is this it here? Ah, oh, okay, here we go. So let's rest up first. Good. Here's our bench. <clears throat> Guys, please refer to the pinned message on the chat and please abide by it. Thank you. This is if you want to buy items, Craig. I should probably buy some more high potions. They're only 100 gil. Yeah, I should buy a bunch of these. How many can I buy? Oh, I can only buy three. All right, I'll buy the three. I should probably buy some Phoenix Downs. How many do I have? Four. Oh, I have four. That's a pretty good amount. <clears throat> three basic stuff. Yeah, pretty basic stuff. Okay. The high potions are, are needed, though. This, I don't think that we leveled up enough to do anything here. Well, maybe. We got a little bit of, uh, SP. Oh, what? 11 3 Wubble skills have now been unlocked. Oh. Oh, okay. I had to get to this point in the game. Wild Fire. Unleash a fire magic attack without expending MP. Melee Blade. Hold the button to gather strength and team up with your partner to unleash a charge attack. Okay. Formidable counter. Increased punishable counter damage by 10%. Yeah, so during my, my react show on Sunday, someone put a tutorial video and reminded I, I, it reminded you that in um <clears throat> in the Punisher mode, all you gotta do is hold block and you get an auto counter attack, which I had completely forgotten about. That was you know explained in the first game remake, and I oh yeah, so that's pretty useful. I gotta remember to use that. It's actually really good, it causes giant stagger. All right, let's do this. A new a new move here. I can't? Why? It says I have 10 SP. It says this requires 10. Oh, I didn't get this one yet? Oh. <clears throat> I didn't get I didn't get that one yet. Oh, here's where here's where I am. Enhanced attack. Okay, so I can either do ranged blade from a range attack with your partner, activate in sequence to trigger a three-hit combo, can use while airborne. Doesn't sound so bad. Oh, you know what? Let's do these two. Let's do ranged blade. <clears throat> and let's get 200 bonus HP. That sounds good. Okay. Um, Aerith. Where's Aerith right now? She's going to get her new stuff unlocked, right? <clears throat> so, United Refocus. Clown and Aerith hone their focus. It gives you three ATB gauge charges. Wow, that sounds good. Like a bonus ATB. Sounds pretty good. <clears throat> I think we'll do that. Get three bonus ATB. Let's 
try that. Okay. I'll save up my TP for the next level. Heat Wave or <clears throat> Magic Defense Up or Spellbound Blast. Okay. So here's Tifa. Yeah, people are saying you need to get the double team ability where someone throws Tifa into the air so she can attack aerial enemies. Now, how do you do that? It's not that. I already had it. Leaping Strikes. I already had it. So there you go. Um, I already have that. I already have this. Oh, also a three, a three ATB charge. That's cool. <clears throat> Increase MP by three. Lightning attack or ask your partner to defend while you move about the field. Bodyguard. If we do this, ATB charge rate up. Increase ATB charge rate when performing actions by 5%. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna do that. Faster ATB charge rate. <laughs> okay. Uh, Red has only five, so he can't do that much. I'll just save it, actually. These guys with only five, we'll just save it. All right. Cool. I've also received a $3 tip. Okay. <clears throat> Anonymous $3 tip. Okay. Thank you for that. And now we're at $49 in tips, a dollar away from our tier 1 tips goal for the day. There you go. <clears throat> Sprig of Sage. Alright, shall we save again? Let's see. Oh, you can't, because it went to a cutscene. <laughs> it seems we've caught up. What? Now can I save? Yes. It is kind of annoying that to save you have to go into this menu, but when you try to go, sometimes the game interrupts you with dialogue and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> here? Nope. Nice graphics. But there's really nothing in here right now. <clears throat> so we caught up with these guys. The imperfect experiments, I believe they are. Right? Hope they're okay. <laughs> oh yeah, they're fine. Don't worry. Yeah. That happens at least five times a day. Right? But if not, nothing we can do. Right. Shouldn't just leave them. You know what? I'll go check. Okay, I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> okay. If wow. You're sure. He already Thank just tells you. her, "No, I don't trust you." Right? I mean. Thank you. By the way, I've completely forgotten to shout out Anthony Young re-upped his membership earlier. My fault, Anthony. Sorry about that. Thanks for re-upping your membership. <clears throat> Careful down there. So now we're just limited to the party that actually I had set and I was using anyway, right? Like this is a party, so. Yeah, party selection is locked. There they are. That's already the team that I had, so. Um, you know what? Let's make him the leader. That way I can try to punish her mode. <laughs> it was Andy? Andy, thank you for re-upping your membership. I'm sorry that I missed it like an hour ago. I think you had done it just when I was going on, on uh, my, my bathroom break. Take this! Well, these are simple and easy. Moving on then. 
the crap out of them. Crawlers. There's a bunch of crawlers down there. Creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers! <laughs> Items over here. Oh. Ah, I did a little squeeze, and it looks like we have a... Is that a materia? Oops, that's not the right button to pick it up. AP up materia. Okay. Might want to use it. Instead of something I'm not using. It's funny because I'm not using assess, but I totally should be. Oh, shit. Well, here, I'll equip it here. Uh, what was it called? AP up? Where is it? Am I blind? It was blue, right? AP up. Increase the amount of AP earned for linked materia. For linked materia? Oh. I have to link a materia. Alright. Hook it to, like, steel or chakra. Mug is pretty good, right? Uh... So let's do AP up here. And let's hook that to something that we want to level up fast. Chakra would be pretty good. I don't know why I never use it. I'll just leave it like that then. And I'll put something new here. Uh, we need that so that she'll use her unique abilities when she's not the main party member. Or the main commanded, uh, controlled care party member, right? Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. Immediately found the new material that we can use. Weird looking enemies here. Sylph Gloves. Getting a lot of items already. Uh, should we put those on? Sylph Gloves. What would that be? On here? Mm, she can't equip them, I guess? I guess not. Who can, who can equip Sylph Gloves? I don't see them anywhere. Are they for a particular person? Wait a minute. Oh, they're a weapon for her? Oh, okay. Never mind. Good. So this is going to give us increased damage and slightly less magic, but it will give you a new ability called Reverse Gale. Gloves that slice through the air deliver sharp strikes. What sucks now is that immediately that AP that we had won't work. The AP up materia because there's no link. So there's no point in even having it equipped now. So I was let's take it right off. Put something different in its place. Oh, fire materia, I guess. Sure, why not? And now we have a new ability. ATB charge rate up by 10%. Increase damage up by unique abilities by 15. MP recovery up. Or activates concentration after being revived. Let's do ATB charge up. Cool. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Getting some new items and things already. Cool. Whoop. All right. Some enemies over there in a chest. So I guess we'll fight them. Nothing to it. Sheesh, these things are just wimps. Cut right through. Yeah, they had said that you get bonuses if you had Final Fantasy VII Remake save data, but I don't have it. Remember, I played it on uh, PS4 Pro. 
And then this is on PS5, so the saves didn't carry over. More easy snakes. Sheesh. Your prayer materia has improved. I haven't used it once, but cool. The save data should be backed up. I mean, maybe, but it's not going to, uh, it's not going to just auto import that. You know what I mean? Like probably have to manually import it somehow. Oh, there's items down there. We should probably get those first. I don't know how to import it from PS4 to PS5, nor do I really care that much. There's a new Thin Ice emote. For those who are members, check that out, guys. Thin Ice. Right back to where we were, so no big deal. You should probably just fight that guy. Why not fight him, right? Hey, ogre. All right. Auto counterattack by blocking him. There we go. Auto counterattack done. So then Punisher mode, you get the auto counterattack by blocking. Super good. Chunk of lay, lay, lay titanium and ore. Should we see maybe if we can craft some stuff? I wonder. We've been waiting to craft certain items we never crafted before. We haven't crafted these, but we can't yet. No, we need ether onions and planets favor. We don't have any of those. We need, again, planets favor and iron ore. We have the iron ore. We don't have planets favor. We also don't have condor cedar. Maybe we have to go to Fort Condor to get that. Oh, uh, we need beast pelts to make the enhanced hunter's bangle. We need qu another qu Quetzal Quadal Talon, which means you have to find another one somewhere to make this. Mithril ore. We're in a mithril cave. Maybe we'll be able to find mithril ore to craft that. Um, <clears throat> we need a beast pelt to do the improved bulletproof vest. That's it. Wow. So we basically have a bunch of items we don't have, right? Where we came from. Okay. Onwards. Ooh, a flying enemy, so I definitely want to use Cloud. Dragon. Push over. These enemies are weak, right? It's just funny. You can upload save data for Final Fantasy VII Remake PS4 to PS5. In other words, you could still get bonuses. Yeah, but how would I do that? I don't like my PS4 Pro has been in storage in my closet ever since I got my PS5 for like three years. Do you really think I'm gonna pull it out? Hook it up, get it working again, upload save data and convert it over? Like that's kind of silly, no? You would have thought that, you know, it would have auto-backed up to the cloud, and you would have been able to just check from the cloud and confirm, but it, it didn't do that. And, you know, I did have my saves in the cloud for my PS4 Pro, so... I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know what they were expecting me to do, but it seems pretty ridiculously annoying. They couldn't just make it a seamless process. You know what they should do? Just, your okay, your PSN account is associated with you and your purchase history. Just look in your purchase history and say, oh, does, does this account have the licensing access to Final Fantasy VII re Remake? If it does, just give the unlocks. Instead of, we have to find save file data from fucking game four years old from another console generation. That's stupid. There should be a seamless way to do this stuff, and that's one thing that I think the game devs have dragged their feet on, is not really looking to find easy ways to do this kind of like save file integration. It's dumb. You don't actually need the data. I just need to know I owned the game so you can give me my reward, right?
Pair of Solos is, I think you have to install the PS4 version, then upload to the PS5 game, which is a hassle. That's stupid, too. <laughs> That's really stupid. Wow. This place is huge. Mithril Mines. What's that? Like a room? Hopefully. I take it out of here. <laughs> what does it look like? Like a balcony room? Let's see. Why is she so confused by it? <laughs> what do you think it is? Okay. Um. Well, I don't. I think there's a dead end over here. Nothing over here, right? Nope. Oh, some items. Aaron says you don't need completed data. You can launch the game, make a save file. That's enough to get the bonus. So what you're saying is, <clears throat> I could download Remake on this console, which I own because when I bought this game, there was a, f a bundle for the exactly the same price as just buying the game, and it was Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrate, and Rebirth for 70 bucks. So I got that. So you're saying if I just download uh, Seven Remake on here, boot it, make a save file, never boot it again, and just boot this game up, it'll in integrate the save? If that's the case, maybe I'll do that, but, you know, just have to download the game when I have time. Or these push out. Do this Why even put these snakes in the in the freaking thing? They're so easy. Right? What's the point? Blessings. Do be do be do. Right. Boot the game, skip all the intro cutscenes, make a save file, done. The ladder is broken. Find another way up. How about this? Aaron says that's what I did. All right, good advice. Maybe I'll do it. Like I said, I have to find some time to download it. Maybe overnight one night, and uh, maybe I'll just do that simply. I don't know what you get when you get a few materia or something. I'm assuming it's not some game-breaking thing you get, right? <laughs> Mithril stuck there forever. So you go up. You, what's down? Find out. Anything? Yes. Chunk of, chunk of Mithril Ore. We were just looking at that we needed Mithril Ore to craft. So when we get more Mithril Ore, we should be able to craft some items we haven't been able to craft before. You need one for a remake and one for integrate for both bonuses. That's all I did and it worked like a charm, says Aaron. Okay. Well, we'll see if I can possibly remember to do it. Probably not, considering that my mind is like Swiss cheese these days. The amount going on in my life. <laughs> but we'll see. I would like to do it. I would I would enjoy having bonuses on the top. Are you defending? I think so. What? He was in like a defense mode. Right. They love their planet's blessings. It's two summon materia. Oh yeah? Are they good summons? The summons seem okay. They don't seem overpowered or anything in this game. They seem alright. I haven't tried Titan yet though. The music is like the best part of the game so far. Seriously, the redone music is so good. No turning back. I wanted to auto uh, counter, it didn't work. I tried to block, it's not working. There we go. Mutish Tremor! Triple Slash is his best ability right now. 
So this is their... You saw that? How do you see... Oh, it's L1. And you can see their relationship to you. They're slightly happy. I think everyone is, right? Because we did all the side quests. So everyone was pleased with the optional side quests we did for them. In, uh, in the Grasslands area. <clears throat> the summons in Crisis Core Reunion are overpowered. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. I didn't play Crisis Core Reunion. I only played the original Crisis Core so long ago. I don't really remember it, so... I'll take your word for it. I remember there being tons of materia in that game. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't see any black robes. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch up. If any of them are still alive. Well, let's rest again. Oh, I wanted to rest. Pressed the wrong button. Do 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 do. <clears throat> um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I was gonna see now if I, if I have enough mithril ore to craft what we couldn't craft before. We can make a cushion, but we've already done the, that. I don't care about that. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we could make earrings, and we can make a talisman, but we already have those, so we probably don't want to bother with it, right? Which is the one that we needed the mithril ore for? Oh, revival earrings. But we only got one? We only found one? <laughs> we only found one piece? Get back in there. It's a whole mithril mine. You only found one piece of ore? Come on, man. Uh, Jay Dennis says the combat... Is the combat better than Final Fantasy 16? Yes. Literally, because you have different party members you swap between, every party member actually plays differently. So there's good variety in the combat. In 16, you only ever play the one character, and literally his combat is rock, paper, scissors between three abilities or four abilities. It's super boring. Here, you actually have to actively time things instead of button mash. It's much harder, I feel, and actually more complex and interesting. Music is S tier, best since near Automata, says Eternal Napalm. Well, the thing is, I've played Final Fantasy VII, I like the soundtrack, it's Nobuo Umatsu, one of my favorite composers in games. And the fact that they just redid those now, to be way more higher level, highly produced, instead of having to rely on, like, the PS1 hardware, it sounds so good in this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, the Turks! Our first, our first run-in with the Turks in the game. Recuperate. Yep. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hold on, we should. Oh, we can't say. <laughs> that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all expenses paid vacation. Wait. Well, more or less. The Turks are Lucky. back. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Hmm. <laughs> Probably misses it. <sighs> She's who? Elena Seriously? is her name. I thought. What are we even doing here? Is it? <sighs> Sorry. But I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? <laughs> orders are orders. Rude. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? I say we put him down. Ha ha ha, let's just murder him. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> assholes. Who's there? Who said assholes? I can hear insults from a mile away. Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. Her dialogue and voice actor are obnoxious. Feast your eyes on yep, the Turks. Elena, I remember. Greatest. Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Oh my god, it's so Where's creepy. Ah, 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 ah. On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a turk. And a consummate professional. Alright, let's do it. I immediately didn't counter. I'm stunned already. Instantly stunned. Crap. There's an auto counter. Damn it, auto counter, but I still got hit. Oh, I'm not in Punisher mode. What happened? I thought I was. For some reason, I wasn't. Oh, 
I can't move! Damn it, I didn't do it in time. She didn't have to be this way. I almost did it. Still won't stagger! Wow! Who never staggers? Fireworks Blade or Synchro Cyclone? Grants unlimited MP, raises limit level. Let's do that. Stagger him! He's so close to stagger, he's still not staggered. Finally! Okay, now we're talking. Don't stop now. Actually, no, let's do the limit three. Here we go. Ascension. Focus on single enemy to deliver powerful strikes. Let's do that. Taru. Because he's staggered. He's about to die, actually. Yeah, he's done. He's beating. And Taru. Damn! Right? Harry. What a combo! She's still being combo. Look, she still didn't land. Damn, that was a good combo after the parry. <laughs> Hands in the air, right now. They're back. Better keep that toy where I can see it, lest you want a hole in your head. Now then, y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. I like that his his gun changed for the cutscenes because we gave him a new weapon. He was there all along. Hitman, silent assassin. Although we all just saw him, so he would have failed the mission. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. <laughs> Elena! Here's what happens after grenades in her pocket. I'm not sure that kicking the grenade like that is an effective way. It is a high explosive, no? Nice one, Red. He walks around so slowly. <laughs> Whoa! 
Of course they all just comedically fall into the cave. Of course. <laughs> the mine depths. That's what it says. Mithril mine, mine depths. My just camera blocked it, so I'll tell you when it says stuff there. Hey, where are the others? You okay? Oh, we're separated again? We're good. Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. So now we're going to be maybe Barrett and Red together. We'll find one. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. They just got back together and now they're separated again. <clears throat> this is covered in slime. Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where are they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. So, new party. <clears throat> Exploring is Barrett. You can use your gun to shoot the walls. Oh, okay, that's new. I actually want to play as Red during combat. So let's set that up so that he's the leader so I can use Red because I actually like Red. Um, Now, wait, did I map all of my abilities? I don't think I did. We could check that, right? If I go to... Yeah, see, he has a fourth one called Wildfire that we hadn't mapped. Oops. All right. Same thing with Barrett, I think. Yeah. He has bonus round. That's his new ability. They have these new abilities now because I equipped new weapons to them. I don't even know what they are, but we have to use them. We have to use Wildfire and bonus round, I think, to unlock them, right? Let's find that out. Uh, <clears throat> that would be... No, he already learned uh, Stardust Ray. We don't have another collar. All right, so he does not have to learn an ability. But I think he does. We just equipped the uh, high-caliber rifle. So he has to learn... Wait a minute. Wait, what? No, I'm being stupid. It's highlighted when it's blue, not when it's white. I'm dumb. So yeah, we're learning bonus round. That's the new one. Load your weapon with unique bullets that will increase stagger and power up your attacks. Okay. Cool. We're going to try to use that, or try to learn that, I should say. Now, wait, can we equip? Yes, we can. Let's do that, since I don't need them to have all of the materia, right? Let's take uh, let's take Titan off a of cloud for now. Let's put it on on Barret, and I'm going to use red in the combat. Um, I received a dollar tip. Ellipses' bonus round's really good. Cool. I'm going to try it. Uh, an anonymous dollar tip. Thank you, whoever that was. That will get us to our tier one tip skull for today. So thank you very much for that. Remember, guys, if we hit the tier two tip skull, I will put on the ridiculous cloud wig that I wore a couple streams ago. That would be pretty cool, right? <clears throat> so thank you for that. That gets us to our $50 goal. Cool. Do, 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 do. This looks like a bubble gun. It <laughs> no, it looks like a, like a rifle. The other gun is just like a Gatling gun. This one looks like a more precise weapon. I wonder if it fires really slowly, but it does like way more damage. I guess we'll see. Remember he had guns like that in uh, in Remake as well. And then he had a melee, melee weapon at one point in Remake, which made him completely different. He was like a slow, but big hefty hits, right? I remember that. Okay. All right. So, they want you to shoot stuff. I mean, it looks like we can get a chest and, and recuperate here. And then we can shoot stuff. Oh, re Renegade's collar. Wow. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as I said, oh, we're all set. Oh, look, we have a new collar. So, Renegade collar will actually have a linked materia now. And it's going to have, uh, what's the new one? It's called Crescent Claw. Oh, wait, no. Actually, this is linked. This one is not now. Crescent Claw. We're going to try to learn the Crescent Claw ability. 
Now also, we need to assign the weapon ability. Increase vengeance mode duration by 20%. Increase ATP recharge rate when performing actions. Increase vengeance gauge after being revived. Increase the amount of HP absorbed by Siphon Fang. Let me try that. More HP absorption. So, now do I have to remap the ability? Uh, I think I might have to. Right? Yep. Crescent Claw. We're going to try this new one. Crescent Claw and see what it's like. That's the one we got to learn. Alright. <clears throat> I don't think we have to heal, right? We already are full. Yep. It auto targets. All you gotta do is run towards it and pull the square and shoot it. I got a chunk of mithril lore so I can craft that item now that I've been trying to wait to craft. Can you shoot over here? No. You can only shoot shoot, 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 dang. Oh shit, it's an enemy. So we can make, what's the one we were waiting on? The revival earrings. There you go. Transmuter experience earned. We're almost to the next level of the transmuter, but we need more items. What's going on, Gummy Worm? Uh, welcome to the stream. There we go. Okay, well, uh, Crescent Claw. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, remember, damage is reduced for these guys because they're only they're very resistant to physical attacks. I love the spin. Look at that. Spin can win. Phantom Fang? Now we don't... Oh, here we go. Phantom Fang. He tosses you into him? Oh, I didn't really do anything, though. I think all he did tosses you towards him. I don't think we want to wait the summon, do we? These guys are pushovers. They don't really do anything. They're not really nice to me. Like a punching bag. It's fine, I can use Crescent Claw a ton. So I get to level it up. Love the spin. Crescent Claw. It was funny because someone said Lion King. You're right. It reminds me of like Simba and Lion King fighting in like the Lion King movie. Cool. Crescent Claw is pretty good. I'm fighting Grimers in Final Fantasy. <laughs> the, they're Flans, right? The Flans. They used to be called Slimes, and then they started changing their names to like Flans and stuff like that. Living gooey creatures. All right. But how are we getting out of here? That might be an option. Climbers. Looks cool. Great graphics, man. Do 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 do. There's another one. In dead. Thank you for 33 months as a member. He says, "How's the game? I'm on chapter five. I love it. Yeah, we're, there's only chapter three, and uh, yeah, super good, right? Really enjoying the game. Very well done. Can we swim all the way across? We can." So why go up? Let's swim this way, see what's over here, right? There might be stuff over here. No? I see some enemies over here. Any items or anything? Maybe. You think there's gotta be a reason to be here, right? Shoot this. Anything? No? We shot all that and got nothing. I think there's all there's all optional stuff, so. First strike. The music is outstanding. Look at the guitar. Guitar riff. Look at that, hit him bold. Oh, that's really good. Hit him bold. I master Crescent Claw, cool. That's not what I wanted. With me. So I don't know if Phantom Fang is, because he's tossing him, but I'm not exactly sure that that's like review. 
Alright, Stardust Ray will probably hurt these guys, but Stardust Ray is magic based. There you go. Yup, wow! Yup. These guys are weak to magic. So as soon as I cast Stardust Ray, that was the end of that. And we also mastered Crescent Claw, so that's cool. What was the other ability? Wildfire? Um. Yeah, combat settings. Red. What's wildfire? Unleash a fire magic without spending MP. Hits multiple enemies. Can use while airborne. Let's do that because I think Crescent Claw kind of replaces Sidewinder now. So we'll use that. Okay. Is there anything else over here? It's kind of like we destroyed all those rocks but nothing came out of them. So what was the point? I don't know. What's the point of this over here? Anything? My first time clicking on a live stream, he's actually playing the game. My timing sucks, says Captain Sauce. Poi. Why is it why is it bad timing that I'm playing the game? You didn't want to see me playing a video game on a gaming stream? <laughs> what? Did I get anything? Oh, there's a, there's a materia up here. I definitely want that. Here we go. What do we get? Anything good? We got MP up. Oh, that's good. That's definitely good for MP heavy MP users. I probably won't use it with this group. But maybe when we go back to, you know, Aerith. So is that it? Oh, there's a few more items. Weird that we shot all those things and nothing came out of any of them, right? Only one piece of mithril came out earlier. Nothing this time. There's another one. I actually have to split the part right now. Any, any of these? I got a uh, Leia, Lee or Leia Titanium, however you pronounce it. And I got some Iron Ore and Leia Titanium. Still no Mithril Ore, which is what we're looking for. The Mithril. Mithril! I'm gonna try this Wildfire, see how it works. Oh god, it's so good against them. Wildfire. Done! <laughs> They're incredibly weak to magic. It just destroys them easily. Very nice. Here we go, climbers. He only has one arm. Well, that's messed up. He has to climb with only one arm. It's like twice as hard for him. Eternal Napalm says it's important to have uh, good uh, material for when you get Yuffie, Yuffie and Kate Sith. I think this is an optional thing right here. Yeah, it is. Look. Optional items. Sprig of Laurel. Sage. Or. A lot of stuff there. Or. Or. Numinous Ashes. Still, I don't think... This is a good place to split the part, by the way. But I still don't think that's anything that, like, we could transmute anything new. Right now, we're waiting on Planet's Favor. We haven't even found those yet. <clears throat> Ether Onions, which we have four of five. Planet's Favor. Condor Cedar, maybe when we get to Fort Condor. Uh, Beast Pelt. Uh, another Quetzalcoatl Talon, so that's a boss fight to get that. That's it. Yeah, we, there's, like, a certain key items we just haven't found yet that so our, our crafting is pretty much on hold for a while until we can find those items um <clears throat> felix the maid says would you prefer if the game had a continuous flow of action and chapters weren't a thing no i don't i don't mind how the game's paced right now i think it's fine i'm having a good time <clears throat> right did i play sonic superstars yep did a full playthrough of it what's my favorite character in the game so far oh man they all play uniquely the one character i'm not liking is Aerith in combat i sadly i feel like she's very weak um, everyone else is unique and has a different way to play, and I like that. So I, I don't think I dislike anyone but Aerith, but I don't know if I have a favorite. Um, I received a dollar tip from the Dark Side Child Returns. Says, I want to know if you have any plans on playing Intermission. What's that? You mean Intergrade? I'm not going to complain since I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you didn't purposely ignore the comment. But besides that, I hope you're enjoying the game. Would you give Intermission the chance it deserves? It's not that long anyway. You should be able to finish it in one or two streams. Hope it isn't too much for you it's essentially canon please consider it. it shouldn't be much of a hassle and thanks for reading i think you mean integrate um 
Yeah, no, I wouldn't be against playing it at some point, but I mean, isn't this game going to be past that? So wouldn't it be kind of silly to go back and do something that we're already going to be aware of what it was by playing this, right? So I don't know. If people really, really wanted me to play it, I would consider it. I have it. Like, when I bought this game, I got the collection that has Remake, Intergrade, and Rebirth all in one package for the same price. So I would have it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, good stuff, guys. Thank you so much. First segment of today. Fun. Liking the story. Let's keep it up. We already beat the giant serpent, which I wasn't expecting, because in the game, in the original game, you had to go back to beat it. Um, and now the plot's heating up. I already fought the Turks. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see what happens in next part. Excellent.